Hi, boys and girls. After listening to the story, the pot that Juan built about Juan Quezada, the famous ceramic artist, um, I'm now going to give you some examples of how you could create a drawing of a ceramic piece of artwork or a 3D piece of artwork at home. Okay. So the first thing that I would do um, at home is brainstorm different lines, shapes, and patterns that you could use to paint the outside of a piece of clay that you made. Then I would brainstorm different shapes that you could use to create a ceramic piece of clay. And then you could also brainstorm a final piece of artwork and also think about what it would be used for, its form and its function. So we can start this together. See if you can find a piece of paper and then we're gonna just brainstorm some shapes and then we can brainstorm patterns and then we can also brainstorm the form of the ceramic pottery that you would plan to make. Okay, so I'm gonna put my screen down here. So I'm gonna just start with some different shapes. So if we're brainstorming shapes, you can use whatever you would like to draw them with. At the top of my paper, I'm going to start with some triangles. Triangles can be big or small. They have three sides. They can go this way, this way, up, down, any way you'd like to draw them. You can also use circles, big or small. You could use ovals. Ovals can be all different shapes, sizes. They can be diagonal. Okay. Rectangles. And squares. And if you want to get creative and think of your own shapes that you would like to add to your ceramic pottery plan, that would be great. Okay. I'm also going to brainstorm some different lines. So maybe wavy, zigzag, straight. You could have zigzags going vertical. Here they're horizontal. Here they're vertical. Same thing with the straight, wavy, curly or loop-de-loop, -loop. you could combine lines with shapes. You could do a shape pattern. You could do a line and shape pattern. Could, for my next line, I'm going to do wavy, straight, circle, circle. Wavy, straight, circle, circle. Wavy, straight, circle, circle. For my next line pattern, I'll do zigzag, straight, zigzag, straight, zigzag, straight. For my next pattern, I will do triangle, zigzag, circle, wavy, triangle, zigzag, circle, wavy, triangle, zigzag, circle, wavy, triangle, zigzag, circle, wavy. So see how many different patterns you can think of using these different shapes and lines. After you do that, then start thinking about different shapes you could use to create your own ceramic pottery. So a good way to start making different um, shapes for pottery is to start with an oval for the opening at the top. I'm going to draw an oval shape 
And then for my first one, I think I'm just going to draw the letter U and I'm going to bring that letter U down and then bring it back up to meet that oval. Let me do that again. An oval. Put my pencil or marker at the end of the oval. Bring it down, down, down like the letter U and then back up to meet the other side of that. And if it doesn't quite reach it, then just bring it over. Okay. This is just practice. And if you make a mistake, think of a way to be creative and change it into something else. Maybe for my ceramic pottery, maybe I'll make it curve in a little bit and then be wider at the bottom. Maybe for this one, it will be wide at the top, curve in and then be wide at the bottom. Maybe it'll be straight at the top and then be wide at the bottom. Maybe my edges on the side will be wavy like this. That would probably be really hard to make. Maybe I will do another one that's with just the U shape, but a little bit taller and skinnier. Another one that's kind of tall and skinny. Okay. Once I have the different shapes for my different ceramic pieces of clay, bowls, or pottery, I will then start to use my brainstorming page, some of the patterns that I made to kind of see what I like. So I'm using that zigzag dot pattern. Okay. And then here I have my zigzag circle. So I'm going to try that on this one. I'm going to try my wavy straight circle circle. Wavy straight circle circle. And this one will fit three circles. Wavy straight. And I'll only be able to see two there, so I'll just add the two that I see. Then I'll try my triangle zigzag circle wavy. So I think I'll try it going across the top. So triangle zigzag circle, wavy, triangle, zigzag, circle, wavy, triangle, zigzag, circle, wavy, triangle, zigzag, circle. Okay. Another way I could do that, I could go um, horizontal with my lines. I could go triangles in one row, then zigzag, then circles. And then wavy and then go back to triangles. Okay. Um, I could do my straight zigzag, straight, zigzag, straight, straight, zigzag, straight, zigzag, straight, zigzag, straight, zigzag, straight, zigzag. And then on this one, I think I'll do my square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle. For this next one, I think I will um, just use some of these lines that I brainstormed here. So zigzag, curly, or loop-de-loop, -loop. zigzag, loop-de-loop. -loop. And then maybe for this last one, I'll do zigzag straight, zigzag, straight, and then maybe I'll add some little circles under that line. Okay, so now that I've brainstormed all these different shapes for my ceramic artwork, my last step will be to brainstorm one big shape. So to create my biggest shape, and then I'll be thinking about where it would go in my house and what would I put in it. I'm going to make an oval the top of my paper. And then I'm going to put my pencil or my marker on the side of that oval and bring a line down the page then bring it over kind of like the letter U and then bring it back up to meet the side of that oval. Once I've done that, I'm going to pick out what pattern do I really like that I want to use on my final picture. I think that the one that really stands out to me is the one that actually has these 
zigzag line and then circles. So I'm going to start with that zigzag. line straight line and then instead of drawing dots i'm actually going to draw little circles zigzag line straight line circles Zigzag. Line. Circles. Oh, I made a mistake. I accidentally just drew a straight line. What could I do to fix that? Hmm. Instead of getting upset and redrawing my whole paper, what I can do is just go ahead and add a straight line under each set of circles. So it looks like I planned that and did that on purpose. Okay, so that's one way to fix that if you do make a mistake when you're drawing patterns. Okay, now that I have my pattern, I'm going to think about what would I use my pottery for? I think for this one, what my use of this pottery would be for is to put some jewelry in. So I'm going to put some rings and some earrings. And maybe a bracelet. On the inside of this. To show what I'll use it for and then I would probably keep it out maybe um, near maybe at a spot near the sink so I could take off my jewelry when I wash my hands or when I'm cooking or something like that once I know where I want it to be then I'm going to go ahead and start adding color to my picture so I can think about what color glaze would I want to use on the inside maybe I would choose to use some blue glaze on the inside of my clay. If we were choosing to do this, if this was something that we were able to do at school on the outside, we would be trying, we would be using some um, black ink and painting it on the outside to create these different patterns. But since you were doing your plan at home, you could choose to add some different colors to your patterns as well. Or if you had chosen to do glaze on the outside, you could plan your glaze colors. Glaze is a mixture of sand and water or silica that when, instead of putting it in the fire, like in the book um, that I read to you earlier, um, at school we use a machine called a kiln, which is like a very big clay oven and it gets up to like 800 to 1000 degrees and it bakes the clay so it gets hard. And then after you add the glaze, once I've baked it one time, then, so it'll be called bisque fired, then you will add glaze and then I'll bake it again. And then the glaze melts and turns into glass on the, on the clay. So then no water or anything like that can get um, to the actual um, dry clay. So then you can use it for other things too, like eating and things like that if it's food safe glaze. So that's how that's what we do at school. And that's what um, Juan Quezada was doing in the story that we read when he put it in the fire. Okay, so I'm going to pause there, but I would love to see a finished plan and again, this is always optional, of if you were going to make something out of clay, what would it look like? What kind of patterns would you use? Maybe brainstorm some different patterns. If you do create a plan for clay, please make sure that you add it to your um, school album, your um, media album in your Schoology folder. Thank you. Bye, guys.